Good day, everybody. Welcome back to Elder Scrolls Online. Today, I'm going to show you the rewards for completing the Sigic Order quests in order to get your skill line. There are three major rewards that come through with this skill line, and I will go through a screenshots of each one of these, and then I will show you the rewards in detail. You can see one of you can see at least two of them in this uh, scene before you the face and print and the skull on the desk but I will go uh, look at those more closely after I show you the rewards so the first reward will be a face imprint of the Sigic Order and an unidentified Somerset weapon the second reward will be the body imprint of the Sigic Order and an unidentified Somerset jewelry in blue. The final reward for the Sigic skill line quest will be the Sigic skull cap, the exemplary protective necklace, and unidentified Somerset weapon. The protective trait on the jewelry are only available by completing the Sigic Order skill line quests and the main quest line for Somerset Isles. For the Sigic Order you will get a necklace and for the main quest you will get a ring. Now there are a lot of people who have already been through this and have already researched the jewelry trait that you're seeing here. However if you are a crafter please note that this is the only way you're going to get these for free basically by doing the quests otherwise you're going to have to buy some of the jewelry pieces from other people who have crafted them and sold them on the market so in order to learn this protective trait you're going to need to actually research the necklace that you get from the end of this quest line and the same with the main quest line for Somerset You'll need to save that ring and use it for research. So I just wanted to point that out. They're pretty important. Don't miss it because even though they're purple and it's very tempting to hang on to the purple stuff or deconstruct it, don't deconstruct it, research it. So now I'm going to go into actually looking at the rewards up close. All right, so this is the body and face imprints that you get for the Sigic skill line. Uh, it it actually looks pretty good on the on the dark skin elf. I've seen it on some of the high elves, and it looks a little rough, but um, you know it looks pretty good on on the dark elf skin. Uh, I did notice a couple of things when you have a, a piece of jewelry on your face like uh, for this instance this character usually has uh, a teardrop piece of jewelry in her third eye instead of this um, Sigic Order imprint the jewelry piece will sit on top of that third eye imprint so you might want to remove the uh, the jewelry from the forehead and uh, otherwise I think it looks pretty cool I'm pretty happy with it it doesn't alter her skin tone or anything sometimes these uh, imprints will do that they did a pretty good job at not having seams on the on the body with the texture so there's a little bit right under her arm there, but not much. So it, it's a really good imprint. So under appearance hats, you're going to look for the skull cap, which is called, it's strangely enough, it's called the Sigic skull cap, okay? Now I can set it active. You have to make sure your helmet's not hidden. So this is the Sigic skull cap. So I've also noticed that third eye jewelry will sit on top of the skull cap as well. So you will probably need to remove it. 
Here it is from the top. And you can dye it. It looks there. I've come up with some really cool random colors on on the skull cap. It hides your earrings because if you noted before, she had earrings, uh, but now you can't see them anymore. So at the end of the Sigic Order quest line, you will also get a piece of furnishing for your house, and this is called the Augur of the Obscure, and it's a placeable glowing crystal skull and you can interact with it you know i can see fame in all directions i see you as you are now as you were before you were born and as you'll be after you're dead all at once you're an adorable baby mate less charming as a corpse you know where i'm from warriors wield swords made of pure math kind of puts those crude metal weapons into perspective eh so as you can see it has several different um talking lines that it gives you so it can keep you entertained huh oh sorry i was busy planning my next holiday picture this mate the moons exciting huh i'd invite you along if you could survive up there side note you cannot survive up there all right so that's it for the collectibles that you get for completing the Sigic Order skill line quests. I hope that you have enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this presentation. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, Oma Games. If you would like to see my live streams, please go to twitch.tv and follow Miss Oma. Take care, everybody, and I will see you next time.